Now that you know how to enter data using the Capture app in a web browser, we will show you how to enter data using the Android Capture app. The overall objective of this session is to understand how to download the DHIS2 Android Capture app and enter data. It is useful but not necessary to have an Android device to complete the activities associated with this subsection. Detailed learning objectives include understand how to download and log in to the Android app, describe the Android app interface, select inputs for the date, organization unit, and program, Understand the layout and options of event capture when customized for an Android device. Register and fill in an event. Describe how skip logic works in the Android app. Identify the different methods for syncing events. And understand how offline data entry works. The DHIS2 Android app allows you to capture all types of data, including aggregate, event, and tracker data, all within the same app. For this session, we will focus on the capturing of event data. Recall that event captured data entry is organized by program. It is the same conceptually as what we have already seen on the web. Event capture is anonymous in nature, and therefore no personal details are attached to an event. In this session, we will be demonstrating the use of the DHIS2 Capture app for Androids. The demonstration will be separated into four parts. In part one, we will install the DHIS2 Capture app on an Android device. Then we will log in to the application. In part two, we will explain the Capture app interface in detail, register an event through the app, and demonstrate program rules in action on the mobile device. In part three, we will demonstrate settings for syncing data from the tablet to the online instance. And lastly, in part four, we will review how the offline mode works. Let's get started by installing the app on our Android device. To do this, we need to open Google Play on the device. and search for DHIS2. Select the app called DHIS2 Capture. Next, select Install to install the app on the device. Once it has been installed, open the app on your device and enter your login details. Note that the login details that you see during this demo are not the same as the login details you will use for your own activities. These login details are provided to you below in the activity instructions. A handy feature is that the login page will save the server URL so you won't need to re-enter it every time you log in. After entering the details, give the app some time to load. It will take a few minutes to load all of the metadata and data held on the DHIS2 instance. Upon logging in, you should see a screen that reads Home in the top left corner. And the program Malaria Case Registration listed below. To view a quick walkthrough of the interface, click on the action ellipses in the upper right corner of the device and select Show Help. 
you can tap through the help functions and learn how to view events, how you can apply a filter by changing the period and selecting dates, or by an organization unit filtering. It also shows you where the main menu is located so you can see what other actions can be performed and where the sync button is to sync events with the server. Let's pause here so you can review the associated activities. If you have an Android device, you can use this opportunity to follow the steps outlined in the activities and download the Android Capture app to your device. Log in and watch the interface walkthrough on the app.